Okay, we're doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to yet another YouTube video. It is your girl Lin Wei and there's absolutely no way without going through the way and we believe that Jesus Christ is the way. As you can tell, I'm still in the same clothes that you saw me in yesterday because I bulk create these content videos because if I do not, there will be backlog and <laughs> things will not come out on time. So, you know, planning. My God is a God of order. So, anyway, we are going to start with today's devotional actually before i actually start recording on the podcast i need to first open the scripture that i am reading today which is in second peter 18 verse 19 so if you're watching this on on youtube you actually have the privilege of seeing this behind the scenes action happening but yeah so yeah i think i'm ready to go um there we go so just picking off from yesterday, today's devotional is about how love does not, I love saying that, love does not boast. And I feel like the moment you, I, I hear boast, I think show off. I think, I think a bragging person, a person that likes to brag about what they have. And one of the definitions is that how, like I personally find it as another another form of worldly love that is based on a public image that is based on how people see me how i'm viewed or what it is that people see my content or whatnot um and some of the definition of or like the dictionary definition of it is excessive pride and self-satisfaction this is self-praise this is a boastful i mean <laughs> trust me to use the exact word to define what i'm talking about and a key element here is that boasting is self-centered it is all about how I feel. Oh, I feel this, I feel that. And it takes no recognition for the feelings of others. We we have all been here, like we have all been here. It does not matter who you are, where you're from, whether you're saved or not, you have been here before. And that is because of Asian state psychology. They tell us that when you are a child, there is a part of your development where you are self-centered, self-seeking, and everything is all about you. This is human nature. This is how we are born. But then when we come into Christ's identity, when we take that salvation, we become a new creation so that means we're beginning again and we're starting afresh and i just want to read um second peter verse 18 to 19 and it reads as follows right uh for their mouth empty boastful words and by appalling to the lustful desires of the flesh they entice people who are just escaping from those who live in error. They promise them freedom while they themselves are slaves of depravity. For people are slaves to whatever has mastered them. People are slaves to whatever has mastered them. And to be quite honest, most of our social media has mastered us. Social media has taken control over our lives. We want to be what we are seeing. And I say this from a, a point of love, honestly, as also I'm being convicted at the very moment right now. Social media is really taking over the way we think because a lot of us cannot really function without our cell phones. And once that starts happening, we lose control. Um, I mean, yes, we give away control and we're being controlled by being enslaved into um, a thought process, a way of life, and a, a way of doing things. And I say this from an influencer's perspective because I am not your average influencer that has like multiple followers and all of those things. That's incredible. I'm glad for people that, that that's happening for, but like God really had to sit me down and be like, listen here, Lynn, I did not call you to uh, be famous. I called you to influence people. I called you to have an audience. I called you to have people that are going to get saved and get discipled in churches not by your content and i was like who oh, so what is my purpose you know i just sat there i was like what do you mean <laughs> but then the longer i am in faith the more i understand what he meant because i do not have the capacity to carry um 
various souls. I do not have the facility. I do not have the people to to do any of that. And my content is just meant to encourage people and not to subsidize for the word of God or subsidize for the Bible. I do not know how I ended up in that tangent, but let's go back to what we we're talking about. So for love, the opposite of then being boastful is that love needs to be um, it, it needs to surrender control because being boastful it's you taking a position of I've got this I can do this by myself like you're self-sufficient you are self-made you know but when you come to the Lord it requires you to surrender that control to hand it over to the master that knows all if you listen to yesterday's um, video and podcast I generally spoke about how um, God is our creator and when you release that control you give it back to God you're like God you bought me here on this earth what is my purpose that's something I do like on a daily basis like I am like listen Lord I have no idea what I'm doing I don't even know what I'm where I'm getting placed for Comserve but you placed me in Cape Town for a reason and for a season and if that season is over you need to let me know if that season is still ongoing I need to know and just come in agreement with you because you know what's best for me. I mean, he's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He is all-knowing. He's omnipotent, omnipresent. I am saying big words for people that do not understand all this kind of stuff. It means God is, <laughs> you know, he's all around us. He is watching over us. He's guiding us. There's this incredible book at our church um, that they give new Christians called the Eternity Booklet. And I think I lost mine, but <laughs> it should be somewhere here. Mm, I will find it but it is an incredible book and it just speaks about and gives those definitions so yeah I'm losing focus once again um, this is gonna be very hard to edit for like Instagram and TikTok because like those videos may need to be max th th three minutes uh, but yeah anyway so yeah love is humble man I mean like tomorrow is gonna be how like love <laughs> is not pride so I think just to set the foundation that being boastful also em emanates pride so um, yeah love is humble so I want you to ask yourself today once again um, a, div um, a journaling prompt uh, ask yourself what is mastering me what is mastering my life what has enslaved me I know for me, I had to sit down and be like, social media has taken control. Netflix, oh my word, there was a time Netflix had me on a chokehold. I am telling you, I was, like especially from the holidays, because I was not used to having so much free time and then having to just sit in my room and just watch Netflix the entire day. And I did that. And I feel, yeah, that Netflix can have a hold on you. But anyway, that is all for today's devotional. I'm actually so pumped. I might even record tomorrow's devotional today. But um, I need to consider the editing that needs to happen for these two videos that I just took. So I'll probably record tomorrow. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you're listening on the podcast, make sure that you share this content. And like I said, I know the Lord did not call me to be famous, but a bigger audience would really be nice. <laughs> yeah, just for vibes. But anyway, my voice is changing because I need water. Yeah, so thanks for watching. See ya. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. That's still recording, oh my goodness.